Good morning, it's 6 a.m. and I am in Rio de Janeiro. Just got in late last night and the sun just came up and I'm ready to go start exploring. Let's go. It's hour two and we're on our way to go see Rio de Janeiro's icon, Christ the Redeemer. Can't wait. Hour three, it's 8.30 a.m. Any guesses where I am? How amazing is this? We just came up here and like no one's up here. It's very, very quiet because we came up here early. It's beautiful, we can see the whole city. And honestly, this is one of the most stunning sights. You have to see it in person. All right, so it's nine o'clock and I'm still here up at the top of Christ the Redeemer. I could stay here almost all day. It's so beautiful and it keeps changing because there's clouds coming in. So at one moment we're in a cloud and I can only see like the top of his head. And then the other moment the sun comes out and it's bright and beautiful. People are trickling in though. It's getting a lot busier. So I'm glad we got here early. But even just the view of Rio, it's so gorgeous. We are now in this really adorable neighborhood called Santa Teresa. It's very bohemian and it was it's just so beautiful walking around here. There's street art, awesome shops, having a lot of fun. So much to see and do in the city. So I'm walking through the streets of Santa Teresa, this really bohemian artsy neighborhood. It was used to be the wealthiest neighborhood in Rio. It's under a little construction. They also have um, trams here and honestly such a cool place just to walk around and shop and just take pictures of all the street art. Really cool. It's noon and I'm on the Celeron stairs in Lapa. I've never been here before. It's so gorgeous. All the different tiles made by this artist who was crazy but passionate and brilliant. He turned this area which used to be kind of dodgy into a tourist attraction and kind of cleaned up the whole neighborhood because of it. Definitely something to see. And now we're doing a little bit of shopping in Copacabana. As you can see, I got a lot of Havaianas. Now we're at two o'clock and we're just about to start on our tour of the favela, where this favela is Santa Marta and we have a really great guide with us. All right, here we are in the Santa Marta favela. Never been to a favela before and we're actually having a really interesting tour because the woman taking us around is from this favela, born in Rio. And she's gonna tell us a little bit more about this community and what they're doing to make it safer and better and clean it up. So we just had a tour of the Santa Marta favela and it was really, really interesting. We walked all through up and down all the stairs, so many stairs. It's so cool to see it, especially with somebody who's from here, like Veronica. Hi! <laughs> she was really, really great and told us so much about it from her own personal experience. And it really seems like it's getting cleaned up and things are safe and it's definitely something that I'm really glad I saw. That was a busy day and now we're taking a quick break back at the hotel because we are going to go out, do some samba and do some nightlife tonight. And I need a nap. Hey guys, I just had to go out and get my hair done on the street because they don't have hair dryers at this hotel. So I had a very Brazilian local experience where I walked in and pantomimed what I needed by going like this and got a Brazilian blowout. All right, hi guys, we're back out and back at it. We're here in uh, the center at an area, this outdoor area, which is really cool. It's kind of on this slope where people do samba and we're waiting for the band to come because apparently they're gonna do samba right down there. So we're having a couple beers, sitting outside with the locals, Monday night, it's pretty cool. So we didn't get to see any samba because the band canceled, but we did have a couple beers and hung out with some locals. Now we're in a taxi and we're heading over to Lava for some really good nightlife. All right, here we are, it's 8.30 and we're in Lava. We're hanging out, hanging on the street, trying the local beers. This is the cool neighborhood to go out at night and it clearly is awesome. This is Monday and it's still super fun, right guys? Oh yeah, Yeah, yeah. Luigi. Luigi. So we're leaving Lapa right now. We just had a great little bar crawl. Tried a bunch of really cool bars, great drinks. Cabrinhas are my favorite, but we're hungry. We're heading to dinner. Very typical Brazilian, it's 10 o'clock, dinner time. Hey guys, getting late here in Rio. It is 11.30, just had churrascaria. Oh my God, so good, so much steak. So we just hit midnight. We have been touring around midnight. nightlife. Yeah, it's only midnight. <laughs> this is Joni. Hi. And we are now in Copacabana. We were in Lapa before. Had a great time. Had some fun drinks here in Copacabana. I have a flight in like four hours, so I think we're heading home. She has a flight in two hours. Two hours, whatever. Um, about 2.30 in the morning. Haven't slept in a couple days. And we're heading to the airport because I have a quite a few flights. Just packed up, didn't sleep. But hey, I had a great day in Rio, so it was worth it. 
Talk to you soon. Oh my God, it is like three in the morning. I have tons of bags. Bye Rio, I miss you already. Hey, I'm sorry I don't look great. It's like uh, four in the morning and we're waiting for our gate to open. We're trying to get back home, but Rio was awesome. Really, really great time. And it's part of the process. We're travelers, right? So we're gonna be hanging out in the airport. Right, Colin? Yeah. We have a long, <laughs> long flight home. We're about to get on our flight, heading to Sao Paulo, then Lima, then LA. Long trip home, it's so worth it. We're in the final home stretch, been traveling for about 12 hours, and we're in the lounge right here in Lima, which is pretty nice. And hey, a couple more hours, one more flight, we'll be in LA.